Over the years, one of the things that I found is related to energy is when we're working with patients, often emotional energy comes out of the body and we want this emotional energy to be released so it's not trapped in the body causing illness and disease. Same thing happens with psychotherapists and other individuals who are in the healing arts. Well, when this energy comes out, there is a place that it wants to go. It needs, it seeks out. A, uh, a new place to clow onto and if the practitioner is very open and compassionate then it may clow onto that person It actually comes on to the electromagnetic field surrounding the body of the practitioner or others around it and and we don't want that to happen we don't want to actually work its way into the body and so uh, there's a technique that we use to help to clear that off so that it doesn't actually penetrate into the practitioner's body and cause illness in that person. So um, we're going to do a demonstration of this particular uh, method and record it so that it's uh, there for other people to learn. All right, very good. So uh, the basic principle is that our body is surrounded by electromagnetic field. And in, many people know about the thing, the lie detector test, where you go in and it's actually measuring the galvanic skin response. The, our skin changes its electrical potential based on our emotions and if we're lying or telling the truth. And so that changes the electrical property and it can pick up on an electromagnetic field um, lie detector test. So the same thing happens with our body if there's negative energy on the body. So that energy is on the surface of the body here and we want to clear that off before it works its way deeper into the skin, into the mucous membranes, into the muscles and all the way into the bones or the brain and the nervous system. So um, one of the interesting things is that water is a, a special, has a, a bipolar moment it's called, uh, which is why it's such a great solvent. So electrical energy can um, infuse itself into the water and so water is a good place to try to suck that off of the body. So what we do is there's a point right here and that's on the pericardium pathway. It's, it's a source point and the pericardium is when it's very open and wide it, it helps the heart produce unconditional love. It opens oneself up to emotionally to the other person. So oftentimes when one's working with someone in a very healing and loving way then the heart will be wide open. And so um, we want to be sure that the energy isn't, isn't trapped and going into the heart to cause uh, mental disturbance or, or emotional disturbance in the practitioner. So what we use, we access this particular point here and we use this as a conduit to pull that energy off the body. So what we end up doing is we're going to point our fingers down like this and we're going to have water running across this point here which draws the energy and it takes it down the drain. Now, in um, electricity, there is a concept called grounding. And in all houses, um, the, the electrical system has to be grounded. And there's like a three, three prong plugs that exist in all modern um, electrical systems. And the third one is a grounding wire. That wire actually, the reason why it's called grounding is because um, there is a either a copper stake that's 16 feet long is pounded into the ground and a wire is attached to that so that the electrical current can actually go into the ground. It's, it's literally going into the ground because our earth has a huge capacity to absorb that extra electrical um, energy. So it's like lightning striking. Um, when it hits the ground then it goes in the ground and it dissipates which is why you don't want to be between the lightning and the ground it going through because it'll fry you. Um, so anyway large amounts of energy like to seek uh, an area of a larger body and so we want to dispel that the energy surrounding our body this this negative uh, toxic emotional energy we want to get it down so by by pointing our fingers down the drain as we are doing now make sure it's cold water we don't want hot water we don't want to scald ourselves so cold water and we just run it like this and we try we want to point our fingers down the drain that helps to draw the energy off of the outside of the body through this vehicle and the water will suck the water, suck the electrons down and they'll carry it down into the pipes. Um, pipes are a typical place that in many homes the electrical wires and older ones are actually 
attached to pipes to go into the water, the water pipes or the drain pipes, because that's a conduit into the ground. So, so traditionally, you attach the ground wire to a pipe that goes into the ground, and it's a, a metal pipe. Nowadays, we have a lot of plastic pipes, so you can't do it with the plastic pipes. But um, in this circumstance, this, this uh, particular sink does have metal pipes, and so it carries it down into the earth. And so it's drawing this negative energy off of my body and down into the pipes into the ground. Now, a secondary thing we want to do is use our intention. And so our intention is to remove this toxic energy off of our body. So what we do, we imagine that we are wearing, men or women, doesn't matter, we imagine that we are wearing a full-length nightgown. Okay, so uh, what we do, we imagine, so we want to take this nightgown off, and we're, so we, we use our mind, and we, we take this nightgown, we start here, and we go like this, and we go like this, we're taking it off the top, and we're sending it down the drain using our mind. We don't have to, we don't necessarily physically do that, but while we have this running, then we imagine that we are doing that action, taking it off of our body and sending it down the drain. So that's using our mental capacity to clear off the mental energy that is surrounding our body to it. All right? So that's essentially how it works. And then if we want, we can take a little bit of this cold water and just touch this area right here at the base of the, of the neck where the neck and the, the top of the uh, back join. That particular point is called Governor Vessel 14. That particular point is where the confluence of all the yang meridians comes together there. Yang is the most superficial part of the body. Yin is the deeper part. So the yang energy is our defensive energy. When this uh, toxic energy, it could be toxic physical energy, but often it's more emotional energy, floats out of the person and it comes and closes onto us, it's on the surface of the body. So this particular area is a, a place that we, that we want to um, help to close up and to, and to draw the energy off of there too because it's on the surface, this yang energy. So, um, so what we're going to do, we're going to take some water and we're going to put it in this spot right here and like this and rub it there and that helps to close up the, the point where the yang energy can sneak in and it also um, refreshes, like, like after doing that I feel much more awake and alert. So that's the whole process, uh, so I hope you enjoy using it and it will help you immensely in keeping a negative energy from sne sneaking into your body and it will keep you more alert and more able to help other people in the best way possible. Thanks.